الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه واستند بسنته واقتفى أثره إلى يوم الدين Dear brothers and sisters We stopped at Ihram and Talbiya Already we are now in the status of Ihram and we are doing Talbiya all the time and the best dhikr from now on until I arrive Mecca, it is Talbiya. The best dhikr is Talbiya. Better than to recite Quran? Yes. Everywhere. Don't get panic. Don't talk. Don't argue. Don't shout. Talbiya. Labbayk Allahumma labbayk. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك Now this is a covenant a contract agreement with Allah Ya Allah there is no shirk from now on لا شريك لك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك all these favors all these bounties all نعمة I have from you alone Ya Allah all this kingdom belong to you, Allah. لا شريك لك. Again, you confirm the Tawheed. This Talbiya, it is the best dhikr until you arrive in Mecca. Be careful. Allah will test you. Allah will send you some people to anoint you. Since you left your home, you are fi sabilillah. It doesn't matter what happened. Delay of the plane. Delay of the coach. You are fi sabilillah. You are walking. You are sleeping. You are eating. You are fi sabilillah 24 7. Now, once you arrive in Mecca, this is Balad al Haram. It is the best land ever. It is the most beloved land to Allah and the Prophet. Allah blessed you. You arrived in Mecca. This is Balad al-Haram, the sacred city. You have to show your manners, your adab. You go with the humbleness. Don't ever show of that. Rasulullah sallallahu when he came from Medina to enter Mecca, when he opened Mecca, he had lots of Muslims, soldiers. Abu Sufyan, he said to Abbas, uncle of the Prophet sallallahu he said, oh, your nephew, has a big army but the prophet sallallahu he is not like any other tyrant who show off the arrogance after his his victory it is not the prophet sallallahu he entered mecca with sujood the narrator said his forehead about to touch the camel with sujood humbleness you go to mecca with khushu' If you go as a guest for anyone, once you enter the house, you will sit politely. You show the best of your manners. Now you are the guest of Allah. And this is the house of Allah. Show your humbleness. Show your inkisar, the dhilla. And this is the best ibadah of the heart at that place is al inkisar, broken heart. Because I'm sinful. I am a slave. I escaped exactly. Imagine that there is a slave in the time of Mecca. A slave escaped from his master. Now he caught him. He will come with humiliation, ask forgiveness. You are, you were away from Allah. You coming and he opened his mercy gate for you. He accepted you to come to Mecca. Come with your heart and said, Ya Allah, I'm coming to you. The only way is to flee to you, towards you. Fafirru in Allah. You fear Allah, the only way to flee towards Allah. La malja wa la manja minhu illa ilayh. He is the only one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one. You can fear him, but you flee towards him. If you fear a lion, you escape from him. But if you fear Allah, you escape and flee towards Allah because he is the most merciful. He will accept you. He will accept your repentance. He will forgive you. 
once you come to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the house of my father built it, Adam. My second father, Ibrahim alayhi salam, millata abikum Ibrahim, who was a makum muslimina min qabl. Our father Ibrahim, he is the one who called us Muslims. His milla, we follow the milla of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He is the one who rebuilt the Kaaba. I'm here, I should feel secured. Woman dahalahu. Whoever enter Mecca, enter the Kaaba, he is secured. He is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He within the haram of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one can harm him. And be careful. It is forbidden to hold an arm. But now there is no arms. But remember, there is an arm in your mouth, your tongue. Don't harm any Muslim with your tongue. This is the way to enter Mecca with humbleness, with khushu', with khudu', and you with inkisar, broken heart, and show Allah your humiliation, asking Allah to accept you among all these millions. You want to show Allah, Ya Allah, I am in need of your rahmah. I am in need of your mercy, your forgiveness. This is the way to enter Mecca. And once you see the Kaaba, اللهم زد هذا البيت الشريفا وتعظيما ومهابة وأمنا وزد من زاره معتمرا أو حاجا تشريفا وتعظيما ومهابة وأمنا دعاء الله أكبر and don't ever let shaitan to come to وسوسة to deceive you to be busy with the way of the عبادة always remember your heart, your spirit, in your ibadah. Don't let shaitan come to tell you you must go to Hajar al-Aswad, the black stone, to touch it. The main is Al-Hajar al-Aswad, Yameen Allah fil ard It is the right hand of Allah, is Hajar al-Aswad. You want to touch him to give the pledge, to say, Ya Allah, this is my pledge, I will come from now on, I repent to you. No shirk, I will submit myself. I will be a good obedient. This is my pledge, Ya Allah. It doesn't matter to touch. Don't tire yourself. Don't even think about it. Don't attempt to touch the Hajj al The main thing is you be mindful with the pledge. Be mindful with the meaning of tawaf and how to give the pledge just to sign Hajj al Aswad. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar from my sins Allahu Akbar from my desires Allahu Akbar from my business Allahu Akbar from my children and wife Allahu Akbar from anything in dunya well let me be heedless from Allah Allahu Akbar and you start to do tawaf tawaf there is a meaning of tawaf when you find yourself in the middle of millions doing tawaf, you'll find yourself, I am there in London. I feel that, yes, I'm a very good obedience. I pray five times and, and. When you find yourself among the millions, all of them crying, begging the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you find yourself, I am nothing. The servants of Allah are lots. Forget about these people in the top of Kaaba, there Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. Al Bayt Al Ma'mur, there is every day in the top of Kaaba, Al Bayt Al Ma'mur in the heaven. Al Bayt Al Ma'mur, there are 70,000 angels every day doing tawaf, and every angel of them behind him, 100,000 of angels. All of them doing tawaf every day. And every day, another lot of angels come to do tawaf around Al Bayt al Ma'mur. And everyone has his own tasbih, which is different than the other angel tasbih. You look and remember that we are in need of Allah. Allah doesn't need our ibadah. Allah doesn't need our ibadah of all of us. If لو أن أولكم وآخركم وإنسكم وجنكم حديث قدسي if all of you human and jinn all of you will be pious as the most pious perfect perfect person of you 
it doesn't benefit me any. If all of you human, jinn, everyone would be corrupt. Doesn't harm Allah nothing, any. It is in here, illa a'malukum lakum. It is your deeds. If you do some good, say alhamdulillah. If you find something else, فَلَا تَلُومَنَّ إِلَّا نَفْسَكَ Don't blame any except yourself. It is the time to see how people are squeezing. This is the life. This is the way of life of Muslims. So now we are coming to the tawaf. And this tawaf, there is lots of meaning in tawaf. We will leave this for the next episode. Inshallah, we'll cover this tawaf and say and get the meaning out of this and how to perform the tawaf and say in the perfect way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy to perform hajj in the perfect way. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا brothers and sisters now we are in مكة we are in حرم and Allah سبحانه وتعالى said فيه آيات بينات there are signs miracles والله it is enough brothers to know that how many thousands we have spent to go to Hajj. This enough miracle to find, I can challenge any tourism company. Get all tourism companies in the world. Get all marketing companies on the world to do marketing for a trip to a city like Mecca, but not Kaaba there. A city there, nothing there, mountains, dry, no vegetation, nothing, no sightseeing, even it is very hot. And tell them, and this package is 2,000 pounds. I'm not going to say 5,000, 2,000 pounds. None will go. Nobody. Why should I go? What I'm going to do? Nothing. Very crowded, very hot very dry, very dusty, very, very, why should they go? But people, they go, they sacrifice thousands and thousands with a pleasure. Even they compete each other, they beg, please, give me the visa, I want to go. Why? Because dua of Ibrahim السلام, when Ibrahim السلام, say, Allah commanded him, Call people for Hajj. Said, Ya Allah, I'm in a mountain, desert. Who's going to hear me? He said, Your duty to call people. And Allah said, I will let everyone to respond to your call. We love to go there. This is itself is a miracle. And every single pound you spend fee Sabila in Hajj, you will be rewarded as if you spend 700 pounds. This is the miracle you can see the miracle the sign of the feet of Ibrahim السلام, in the Maqam Ibrahim you will find beautiful miracles there we are starting Tawaf Tawaf as I said you do Tawaf with your body and your heart people will be busy with body wise to fight squeeze themselves to touch Al Hajar Al Aswad don't attempt it. Try to get your heart and give the pledge. Al Hajar al Aswad Yameen Allah fil Ard. The black stone is the right hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you said, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, you give the pledge. Ya Allah, from now on, I start a new life. Ya Allah, 
from now on I will be a good obedient. Ya Allah, from now on I will submit myself to all your commands. Ya Allah, all myself, my body, my heart submit to you. How can I please you, Ya Allah? Start your tawaf. Tawaf gives you a meaning there. People are squeezing themselves. You know, this is the way the life of mu'min on the earth that we have to be one unit. We have to be close to each other. We touch each other, no problem. We push each other, no problem. But our target is one. Our aim is one. Our heart will love each other. This is what we should get from the meaning of tawaf. Why it is seven? We don't know. But seven rounds, seven rounds. Try to get dhikr as you are. Dhikr and istighfar and dua, dua, dua for yourself, for your family, for the whole ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive this ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant this ummah a perfect iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite this ummah and help our brothers who are suffering everywhere. This is tawaf. After you finish Tawaf, I'm here talking about how to get the meanings, the blessings out of the Ibadah. After you finish, you go behind Naqam Ibrahim and you pray to Raka. To again renew your Aqeedah. I'm here following Maqam Ibrahim, I'm following the Millah of Ibrahim alayhi salam. ثم أوحينا إليك أن اتبع ملة إبراهيم حنيفة وما كان من المشركين. We have revealed to you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, to follow the ملة of إبراهيم عليه السلام. He is the one who left everything, reject everyone. حنيف حنيف. He reject every any other religion. مسلم وما كان من المشركين. This is the meaning of لا إله. Inna Allah, you reject all other religions, you reject all other tyrants, all other lords, and you submit yourself to Allah. That's why from the Sunnah to pray to Raka'ah and recite Qul Ya Yor Kafirun, the first Raka'ah, Qul Ya Yor Kafirun, represent La Ilaha, I disbelieve in any other God. The second Raka'ah, I recite Qul Hu Allahu Ahad which represent illallah la ilaha illallah subhanahu wa ta'ala after you finish the two rak'ah you go to zamzam zamzam lima shuribala zamzam for whatever you want to drink for whatever abdullah ibn mubarak he said ya allah i heard that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that zamzam for whatever reason you want for any aim I'm drinking Zamzam, Ya Allah, to make my body haram for Jahannam. To grant my body the salvation from Jahannam. Drink Zamzam. Purify your body as you did purify your body from outside. Purify your heart inside. You drink Zamzam. And ask Allah, grant you the knowledge. Fill your heart with the Iman. Fill your, heart, fill your heart with the Quran. Take out, purify your heart from the envy, from the greed, from the hatred, from the jealous. This is Zamzam. And remember, said, Ya Allah, as you allow me to drink from Zamzam, Ya Allah, grant me a glass of water from Hawd al Kawthar, from the Prophet. Make this dua. Then you go to Safa wal Marwa, a Sa'i. Here you remember Hajar alayhi salam. We follow the footstep of Hajar alayhi salam. She went between Safa and Marwa, Sa'i. Why? She was looking for Rahma for Ismail. She is looking for a relief. This Ismail desperately is in a desperate he is looking for water 
this is al ghaith in dunya what's ghaith in dunya the relief is water but now we looking for the hereafter seem as hajab came at safa ya allah is there any ghaith any relief i need water rahma for ismail we do the same but we ask for, for the rahma of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relief for us to purify our sins we need the rahma at safa ya allah ya allah go to marwa ya allah going coming going coming seven times but remember this is will happen in the hereafter sai remind us in the hereafter that haja she was looking at safa or marwa for water she couldn't find water at safa or marwa where the water come up from from the same spot of ismail allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get them the water from under the feet of ismail same in the hereafter we will look around look around we think this and that nothing will help us in the day of judgment except the rahma of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said that said, no one will go to jannah because of his amal even you ya rasulullah he said even me sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illa an yatagammadani allah bi rahmatihi unless allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will have mercy with me then i can go to jannah so the only way is to ask allah his rahma may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us his forgiveness his rahma now inshallah we come to the end of this episode we'll see you next time to finish our umrah and prepare for mina inshallah wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa